There's something even scarier in the ocean than the Megalodon. Deep beneath the ocean's surface lies a creature so terrifying and enormous that it could swallow a whole human. He isn't talking about Lizzo, he's talking about the Megalodon. As you can see, the camera captures a large object moving through the water. At first, it appears to be a giant shark fin. The size of this creature is enormous which is comparable to size of a Megalodon. Many scientists believe that the creature captured on this camera footage could be a modern day Megalodon. That isn't a Megalodon, that's a Greenland shark. They don't get up to 60 feet long, but they do live for over 500 years. No, I'm not that old. Yep, this is it for us. As scientists have found this angry biblical creature that is larger than a continent coming out of the water. It's your mother He's talking about Leviathan. And if you look on a map above Antarctica, below South America, you can see this giant creature that looks like a dragon. Some claim that this is a sleeping giant or even Leviathan. And if it wakes up, it's gonna destroy the entire world. But this is faker than an influencer saying, I'm not using a filter on my photo. I really look this good. It's just the way the landscape on the map is portrayed that looks like a dragon. Kind of creepy though. Ew! This is exactly what I imagine when seaweed touches my leg on the beach. That's gross. This alien looking creature that looks like it's twerking at a Jojo Suiya concert is called a big fin squid, also called a magna pinna. This footage was taken in the Tonga Trench, which is the second deepest part in the ocean right behind the Marinara Trench. Did I just say marinara, bro? Well, I guess that squid does look like noodles. Give me a fart, because I'm hungry. Okay. But yo, why does that fish on the left side of the screen look like that news anchor from SpongeBob? Strangest things found deep in the ocean. My hair. In 2017, an underwater drone 11,000 feet deep in the Pacific Ocean catches what? something terrifying on camera. What is that? <gasps> a massive bioluminescent creature swims past the camera. Check that out, man. That's huge. It was Whoa. estimated that the creature was roughly 60 feet long, but it is still unknown what it was. Some claim that this was a megalodon that's hidden in the deep depths, but this footage was actually used by Discovery Channel on Shark Week. But whale sharks and basket sharks can actually get up to 60 feet long. It's called a hammerhead because his head looks like a hammer. Yep. Yes, the shark is yeah. a, what the oh, No look, joke. Yeah, look at that. I mean, look at teeth. it. He's kind of messed oh, up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a British shark. Put on a spot of teammates. I think that British shark ate the whole pot. But even though sand tiger sharks have teeth like me, they're pretty harmless. If you ever see this floating pink ball in the ocean, going the other way might just save your life. It's queso. Oh my God. It's a bloated dead whale, man. And anytime a whale meets their fate, they get all filled up with this gas and they expand. Kind of like your dad in the bathroom. Animals attack a glutton with a big mouth. Hey, you can't talk about my ex like that. Okay, what is he doing? Is a shark gonna come out? Wait, I see a little fish. No, I see eyes. What is that? That's, wait, is that eyes? I see a shadow or something. This guy's either brave or stupid. I can't tell what is he doing. Is he teasing something in the water? Like, what is it? It looks like somebody's face in there. She kind of cute though. But I, oh, God. Guys, look at the mouth on that thing. Now, when the ocean stares at you, you don't tease it with food. Look how big that is. That's a Goliath grouper and they have a mouth big enough to swallow a baby whole. Now, they are pretty harmless. They have a very weak bite force, but I'm telling you, if that ever happened to me, I'd have to change my doctor pants. <gasps> you better not be talking about me. <gasps> that thing stared at me like I stole its girlfriend. Oh, not doing this to harm him. Of course, it's Australia, bro. Oh, yeah, no, he's alive. Oh. 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 It's a jawfish, and even though they look like your grandma without glasses on, they're actually pretty harmless, unless you step on one if you go swimming in Australia. But who's going swimming in Australia? Oh my god, there's a huge whale of going underneath me. Would. Guys, oh, what is it doing? Look at this tail. Oh my god. Ah! I mean, I get nervous just thinking about being on a cruise ship in the ocean, but yet there are people who stand on a piece of wood in the wide open ocean like it's nothing. Aussies are just built different, bro. Hey, check out this little guy. He's just floating around like one that's refusing to be flushed. I ain't gonna lie though, I wish I could sleep that hard. I'm always thinking about what videos I can make for you guys next. And when I hear a sound in my sleep, I'm always like, who that? Who that? What the? That boy. Th Wait, hold up. Good gosh, man, who edited this? Someone hired an editor from Timu. Someone's grandma on Facebook is gonna think this is real though. Megalodon spotted in Gulf of Mexico. If that's a Megalodon, this is my girlfriend. What up, Pookie? AI's getting out of hand, bro. And so am I. Whoa! Guys, if you're ever in the ocean and you see a drone flying over you, I think it's a time you need to stop swimming and start running. I mean, honestly though, I get it. You have a greater chance of being killed by a vending machine than you do by being by a shark. But both do happen, and I ain't about to tempt fate. Bruh. A close-up of a very old whale opening its eye. Hey, that looks like your grandma! Imagine being that whale and you open up your eye in the ocean and there's a human staring at you at a camera. What if the whale flinched? <laughs> Chances of getting a ninja attack from a penguin alone. 
What the heck is a ninja attack from a penguin? I don't even know. Smile and wave, boy. Smile and wave. That definitely was Rico. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. His name is John C. Great. Now we have to worry about flying Steve Irwin killers before GTA 6, bro. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa! Baby! She barked at those baby sharks like they were puppies. Well, technically, a baby shark is called a pup. And those baby black tip sharks were learning how to hunt in the shallows. Yes. I said shallow. Wait till you guys find out that off the coast of New York City is one of the greatest great white nurseries in the world. She missed an opportunity to play the Baby Shark song though. Baby Shark doo doo. Stop it. Yeah, what is that? That's exactly what my pinky toe looks like when I have a hole in my sock. Just as it says on the screen guys, it's a Florida fighting cop. They aren't really dangerous or anything, but that thing's just as freaky as it influences Botox street. Bruh. I might just wait here for a little bit. How many grandmas does Moana have? Is it just me or does everyone else see a Steve Irwin murder game? People who are one in a billion. Anyone who subscribes to this channel because you're awesome. You spot Donald Trump at the aquarium. What is he just gonna randomly be like checking out fish or stuff? I mean, wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, dude. That's actually called a unicorn fish for obvious reasons, and I'm never gonna be able to look at them the same again. I'm gonna start seeing this in my nightmares now. If that fish says huge, I'm deleting my YouTube video. This is why the lifting of Titanic is utterly impossible. Because it's just like lifting up your fully sogged Oreo out your milk cup. That thing has been sitting there for over 110 years, weighs over five tons, and broken in two pieces. It just ain't happening. A short clip is shared widely on social media and video sharing websites purporting to show a weird fish with human face caught in Japan. It's always Japan, bro. But why does that fish look like Thomas the Train? Isn't a human face on a fish called a mermaid? Bruh. What the? Is that Jabba the Hutt as a mermaid? Bruh. Why does AI always make mermaids look thick? Finally, some real mermaids, not AI or some fake overly thick mermaids. Now those are pretty cool even though they're just women dressed in cosplay. I wonder what I look like as a mermaid. Bro! Good gosh, man, and there goes Ursula as a baby. No wonder she was always mad. She came out looking like a deformed potato with eight legs. What's that gliding through a hotel pool? No, you mean what are you doing sitting in Mrs. Kipling's pool? Dude, imagine you're in the water and that thing comes up and touches your leg. I'd be running. Ooh, that boy thick! Now sometimes it's hard to tell if something is real or AI. White turtles are actually real. But what do you guys think? Is this real or not? Comment turtle if it's real. Comment fake turtle if it's fake. Are there aliens in the ocean? Nope, but they definitely are in Uranus. She's talking about the fact that the US government said there are aliens in the oceans. Haven't I been telling you guys for years that the ocean is like its own alien planet? I mean, check this out. Or this thing. But I don't know why the US government said they found aliens in the ocean. Maybe they didn't need to get their heads out of there, Uranus happen if you tied weights to someone and dropped them in the Marianas Trench? Basically, they would implode from the inside and end up looking like this fish. Wait a minute! So you're telling me I'd never get caught? He's huge, man. What is? That's a dinosaur. What are you talking about? What are these guys yapping about? I don't see anything. Guys, do you see anything? Like, there's, no, there's nothing there. A stick? What was the stick supposed to do? What are these guys doing? What is it though? Oh my God. I never saw that thing coming. That's why I have the survival instincts of a croissant. Giant snake in the flood in Southern Thailand. Look at the size of this thing. Now guys, I'm telling you right now, this is real, not AI. Check it out. That is a reticulated python. And yes, it's true. But look at the fence. It's the way the camera is, man. It's just a perspective. Life is always about perspective sometimes. Watch when they zoom out. You'll see that it's really not that big. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still a snake. But it's nothing like a titanoboa. You see, now that they zoomed out, you can see the actual size of it. It's still freaky. Check it out. We've got lump fish. More like a slurp fish. Give me some heel, bro. Huh? All right. Today, I'm visiting a lump fish hatchery in North Wales. Bro legit has a slurp fish spawn spot in real life. Now those things are about the size of a taco and probably only give you one hit point each. Speed. Who knew that we needed baby turtle racing in our lives? Now guys, it's illegal to touch a baby sea turtle, but I'd be in jail. I need them all. I don't think the fish were pleased to meet him. Bro looks like a floating crouton. He's looking around like he's trying to speak to somebody's manager. He kind of looks like a piece of cheese with eyes, though. Ever seen these? Is that ocean taquitos? That's creepier than your uncle being your best friend. Those are actually called ice cream cone worms, and yes, they go in the sand. Next time you're at the beach sticking your toes in, just think about these things. I am the mola, also known as the sunfish. 
And I'm the Nas, also called the Mr. Clean Lookalike. Now check out what a sunfish skeleton looks like. No. Imagine hand feeding a fish that not only has sharp teeth, but has teeth all over its palates that are designed to just shred all its prey into pieces. Wild tiger smashed his gate. Security camera caught this tiger hunting this dude. Imagine being chased by a tiger and that's the fastest you can run. He's lucky if a tiger got to jump. Bro runs from a tiger and takes a break. He has the survival instincts of a peanut. <gasps> what is that, a squeak toy? What is she doing, pulling it by a string? There's a Bluetooth. What is that thing? Wait, what is it doing? Is this a trick? She almost stepped on it. That's, that's real! Oh my gosh, it's a stoat! Look at that thing, man. It's almost like a weasel, like a baby ferret. Those things are called stoats, almost like a tiny ferret or in the weasel family. My clumsy self will probably step on that thing and really make it a squeak toy. Get! I ain't gonna lie, guys. I have so many jokes and I can't say any of them. I'll probably get canceled right now. It's amazing how these thick beasts can run at 40 miles an hour. But hey, that's not fat, guys. That's muscle. That's exactly what I say, too. Speaking of thick. So. <laughs> Look at this, dude. The king's running back home to read his manual. Woo! Mufasa was scared. <laughs> Brother, ew. what's that? That's exactly what's how that, I look brother? like veggies. Bro should have used a bunch of ranch and he'd probably been okay with it. Bro's food must go through two-step verification. Now guys, this can't actually happen, but these are actually fake. Maybe I need a set of backup teeth in my life. Is this a real finger? I mean, I'm definitely not pulling that finger because they'll probably do this. <laughs> guys, I'm pretty sure that this is fake, but there is a condition called pterodactylism where you can have deformed toes and fingers. And no, that's not what happens to my face. It's just called uglyism. That cat just lost eight lives from that jump scare. Now guys, don't panic. It was fake. The cat wasn't really outside. It was just a green screen video. Who's f***ing have a cat? Come here, kitty, kitty. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was a my cat. The cat distribution system is telling you're about to receive a cat. Bro, if you're ever in your house and you see something that looks like a cat, don't walk up to it. Cats are evil. <laughs> Sounds just like your dad in the bathroom, doesn't it? A videographer shared this spectacular footage from a volcanic eruption in Iceland in February. The incredible sight soon went viral. It's Minecraft in real life, bro. All I know is I'm putting some bedrock over that to cross it. This is what Earth looks like at night. Well, thank God that didn't show us Uranus at night. No flex, guys, but I live on that round thing. Yes, I said round, and here's the proof. This is why you should never eat too much food. Because you'll end up ruining the bathroom and your dad's gonna yell at you for over a week. She talks about a king who ate 50 pounds of food and his stomach just burst open. Bro should have stopped at 49 pounds. Bro using Google Maps. Hey, don't blame him. He was using Google Maps. Told him to go straight. It's a new Spider-Man movie called Spider-Man Not Far From Table. Found and frozen. Food section. Hey yo! Every time I go to Walmart, I see those things and they always ask for a manager. I'm sorry, don't cancel me yet. I'm about to eat a full spoon of MSG. And then he's about to use a whole bathroom full of toilet paper. Oh my god! I'm just kidding guys. MSG is really not that bad for you. And it's really made to boost the flavors of food. Hey, I need something for my house! Don't tell my wife I said that. This guy has the coolest last words in all of history. He was talking to his wife and said, shut up woman and hear what I have to say. <laughs> guys, please don't ever let my wife see this video. And guys, you might want to check this video out, or this video out first. One more question. You ready to go swimming?